the message I brought uh, relates back to uh, Fibonacci in 1199. Uh, he brought Arabic numbers to Italy in that year. And I can just imagine him talking to a bunch of accountants and saying, look at this new number system. And the accountants say, can't you see we're busy? We've got to add up this column of Roman numerals in only six months. But eventually Fibonacci won out and Western culture uses Arabic numbers. Now, what it left us with is this concept of arithmetic. You're probably familiar with it. Um, there's a parallel concept that I call the arithmetic of uncertainty. And it's been known as functions of random variables, a very complex field in mathematics. Uh, what's happening now is the technology is allowing the average guy on the street to go out and actually perform the arithmetic of uncertainty. What typically happens is uh, that people sweep uncertainty under the rug, even though there's technology to deal with it. So when a manager faces some uncertainty in a future forecast, they typically use a single average number to represent demand for the product, or the price of oil, or how long it will take to finish a project. Uh, this leads to what I call the flaw of averages, and it has very serious consequences. If you consider a drunk wandering back and forth on a busy highway whose average position is the center line, then if you tried to forecast the state of the drunk based on his average position, you'd say he's alive. But on average, he's dead. So the flaw of averages affects us in many walks of life, and we simply haven't had the tools available to the common man to do this sort of analysis until now. We're finding now that managers uh, are beginning to pick this up um, it, it's been a steady, uh, continual progression, uh, but a very dramatic recent breakthrough uh, is the discovery that you can actually do this in Excel now. Excel is so powerful that it doesn't take any add-ins or macros. You can just take Excel and start doing calculations around uncertainties instead of around numbers. Most of the people in the conference were unaware that Excel had this power. And again, it's a, a democratization of risk modeling and risk management. Uh, so when you have things like bank failures, most of us feel completely helpless at understanding the uncertainties and how they would affect the banks. But if you have multiple models of these things floating around in Excel so everyone gets a feeling for it, you know, then, the, then the public in general will have more risk awareness. Uh, I think uh, a horrible failing that, that helped lead to the crash of 2008 uh, was that people in big companies, you know, the boards of directors and so on, said, risk? We don't have to worry about risk because we have a risk management department. Well, that's a terrible way to handle these problems. Uh, Top-level management has to understand the implications of uncertainty and the implications of their mitigating uh, actions against uncertainty.